Hi, this is part two of the products you love every which way October um, edition. We are covering tools and I had a couple more tools that I wanted to talk about. So if you want to watch this video um, and get a good laugh, then be my guest. Thanks. Bye. Couple tools that I didn't get around to using that I really wanted to, but um, one of them was the... Um, the Brad Maker by Imaginisque. I guess that's how you say it. I'm not sure. I hope I don't say that wrong. But um, I wasn't sure. I thought it would be harder to do than it really was. This tool honestly kind of scared me, and I wasn't sure how to do it. But it turned out to be really easy to do. So I'm just going to demonstrate one really quickly. And then maybe if you've already got this in your stash, then you won't be afraid to try it either. So I wanted to do a layout, but I, I ran out of time and wanted to focus on some other projects. So um, I'm going to do the black and white. So first what you do is use the punch to punch out paper. And then I'm going to do the brads. So what you're going to do, it says to put, you're going to place these two things inside here. And it took me a minute to figure this out, but this pulls out. And it does come with a DVD to watch, but, you know, I don't know. I like to figure things out on my own, I guess. So I didn't watch the DVD. But maybe I should have. But these just slide in. So maybe you're just supposed to leave it down like that. But anyway, so you just slide those in underneath there, and I'm gonna you want because you want to push it into the rubber piece, the bigger rubber, and so you just squeeze it gently like that. And then what I did, um, and then you kind of push these extra pieces down so that they'll be folded around the back of the brad like that. And then you're gonna take the brad and then kind of insert it in there. The little brad prongs fit right into the holes there. And so then pull this back out and rotate it. So now it's ready to press the brad in. And so then you just give it another good squeeze. And then hopefully it worked. So. So you can see that it made this um, paper covered brad really easy to do. I was surprised. I thought it would be a lot harder. But they come with all kinds of neat things like magnets and little barrettes and different sizes. You can do, this is the 22 millimeter brad. I think they just came out with a bigger size on two piece I saw go up the other day. It's more of a badge size I suppose. I think it was like 34 millimeters. So it's a really easy thing to do. Um, and I'm definitely going to give it a try and put some on a layout or a card I think would be really cute. So it would be neat to make your own. And I like it's nice and smooth and it's really nice. So that was one other tool that I wanted to show that I didn't get a chance to do a layout for. But And the other one was the um, Martha Stewart Circle Cutter. And I haven't even used this before. It was something I bought because I'm... I love circles and I use circles all the time, but um, this is one of those things where I bought and I haven't used. So um, if you have one too, then my challenge to you is to get it out and try it. And I'm going to do the same thing this month. Um, I'm going to use this. Um, it's, it's really not hard. You just need a glass cutting mat and then you, you measure out which um, how big you want your circle to be. And then I think you just... pull it up. There we go. So you pull it up and move it back and forth at what, how big you want your circle to be. So it goes all the way to like a 12 inch circle. So that's pretty cool. And so you just need a glass cutting mat and I guess this would go in the center of where you want it and then you cut your circle all the way around it. So I'm going to try this this month. What tool are you going to grab out of your stash that has, um, hasn't been used in a long time, or you haven't even ever used it, or maybe even never taken it out of the package. So my challenge to you is to use a tool this month um, and participate in the class, okay?
Thanks. Have a great October.